What is up, everyone? Gojit A51 here with an unboxing video. Got this from Awesome Collector. Right. There. We have the standard Godzilla 2002 from the film Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. I'm sure that made Leslie Chambers very happy. Godzilla x Mecha Godzilla, people. That's the real title of that film. Against is dumb, dumb work. Godzilla x Mecha Godzilla. Much better. So far, so good. But let's get open. Here he is inside of his plastic gasket. Get him out. It's been too long, too long since I had an X Plus unboxing. And he is huge for a 25 centimeter. And he looks awesome for a 25 centimeter as well. Thing, and they all look awesome as well. Oh, that, that came out wrong. You're still in here. Got me pliers. Sorry, I make a lot of weird noises nowadays. Just got home from work. Got a message that this came in. And it's raining out. So I wanted to film this to do something special. When I show the figure off, first off, we have the tail, part of the tail anyway. That guy's always down a long tail. Here's the second part of the tail as well. And here he is outside of the plastic casket. His little bootsies off. And his gloves off. Protecting those awesome nails. And you are one gorgeous bastard, aren't you? Awesome. Just awesome. And yes, there is a small gripe with the sculpt, and that is the mouth, but who cares? It looks awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. But. We cannot talk about this figure until he has a date with a blow dryer. Here we are, the Godzilla 2002 from Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla. Uh, I went standard. I have seen the uh, Rick, and it is glorious. Um, I kind of wish I went Rick, but you know I had to save some bucks somewhere, so I did opt for the standard, and I love the standard. This thing is awesome. Um, I love the ferocious, uh, you know, look on the face. You know, you can see like where the bottom jaw. Kind of sticks up, a, sticks out a little further than it's supposed to. Um, I don't care. It kind of makes him look like a werewolf in a way. Um, this this is badass. I love it. Um, just start off just with the face. You know, the whole sculpt on the body is awesome. I love the sharp 
you know, uh, muscle, that muscle, the, the sharp scales that he has as well. This is awesome. It's the 2000 Godzilla. However, they really upped it. They made him stand more upright. They uh, redid the dorsal plates, you know, as, you know, that bone white rather than purple. I like the purple plates, but, you know, I always like the bone white ones. You know, it's just, this feels like the GMK Godzilla and the um, 2000 Godzilla mixed together. But anyway, let's talk about the figure itself. So this came up for pre-order. Um... At Awesome Collector, it's where I get a lot of my figures nowadays. Um, I'm going to say February. Uh, he went for pre-order. And uh, I bought, I opted for the uh, standard. I went and I bought the standard. And uh, I pre-bought it, which, you know, that's something I really like about um, a lot of websites nowadays. Um, they allow you to just pay now. Because anything can happen in the future that kind of screws up your finances and even though you have things pre-ordered you can't pay for them and you have to cancel them and then you have to upset people with it and you know you upset yourself as well as you don't want to pre-order you don't want to cancel the pre-order it just becomes a mess when you're able to buy something right then and there and then lock the money down then it eliminates so many problems i'm so glad a lot of websites are doing that nowadays so that's what I did with uh, this figure, and uh, Leslie is absolutely right. We'll get to that, though. So, let's talk about the actual sculpt. No, forget that. Let's, let's go back. Standing on his own, he can stand on his own. No problem. However, you will see that, this, that both of his feet kind of come off the ground just a little bit. Like, he's really leaning back on his tail. If you kind of cock him forward and put something underneath it, you have kind of like a charging stance you have for this Godzilla, and uh, cool. Not necessary, though. All right, let's talk about the sculpt. So once again, with the face and the mouth, it does come out a little further than it's supposed to, but it's still awesome. He, it's still badass. He looks like a ferocious badass. Badass. There, I said it three times. Okay, fine. Um, looks awesome. Okay, the sculpted detail is just amazing. Each individually sculpted tooth, got the big red tongue on the inside, the orange eyes, just looking, uh, orange brown, kind of. Yeah, orange brown. Or brown. Forget orange. I just like the color orange. But anyway, they're brown. Brown eyes, awesome. I love the goblin ears. That was, that's a harken back to the 54 Godzilla. I always like the goblin ears on Godzilla, you know, he... The 54 had it, the uh, 55 had it, the 84 had it, you know, just, it's awesome. And most of the hate did the Heisei? Yes, the Heisei had it, but not really the goblin ears. Not much, they have just regular ears, but I like those, like, uh, pointy goblin ears, it's really cool. Alright, moving on to the neck and the rest of the head. He kind of has that King Cobra kind of, you know, guild mark. You know, the Cobras, you know, they, they fan out, you know, make themselves look more intimidating to scare uh, prey. And then you, they can go in for, like, the lash then. Just awesome. They gave Godzilla that, and it's really cool. And then you see him with the gills. Just awesome. And moving around to the back of the neck and where the dorsal plates start, you know, that really, the, those sharp scales for it as well. And then you have, like, the uh, Millennium uh, dorsal plates. Very sharp and pokey and bone white this time. Looking awesome. Moving on to the chest, he's got that, you know, walking forward, you know, stance. He has his arms up like that as well. And now the nails on the arms aren't uh, bone white. Um, they're more charcoal that mixes into, like, the white, so they almost look a little gray. Looking awesome. Loving it. Loving it. Awesome torso. And moving on into the legs. Not really that thick of legs for the Millennium Series. You know, they harkened back to the show up a bit with the uh, Millennium uh, suits. And they thinned it up just a little bit more than the Heisei. So a little more maneuverability for Godzilla in those films. Let's talk about the GMK. That thing was massive. But uh, still awesome. Hey, not, not hating on GMK. I love me some GMK. All right, just saying. You got big old legs. I like big old drumsticks. Now I'm hungry. Anyway, moving on to the legs. Rest of the legs. You got the four toe scheme. Very pointy uh, toenails. Looking awesome. Just like the fingernails. They're a little more brighter than the fingernails. A little more detail as well, but still awesome. And moving on over to the dorsal plates once again. You know, very sharp, very jagged, very, you know, gnarly looking. However, they have kind of a symmetry to them as well. That looks, you know, out of this world, but a part of this world as well. Awesome. Three rows. 
moving on to his very thin tail. They just kept on making the tail longer and longer and longer in these films, and um, it's awesome. I like Godzilla with a long tail. Just awesome. And uh, that's pretty much the figure. Just going, he's got that charcoal gray skin, almost black, like a hint of almost blue in it. Maybe it's the way how my light is going on right now, but um, he has kind of like a bluish to it as well. Not really strong blue, kind of like, you know, just like a little accent of it. Maybe it's just, you know, my old age, the way how I see things. But looks awesome. This figure is awesome. 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it. Now, does this stand up to the other release of this year, the Yuji Sakai? Well, that thing won figure of the year, but let's not even uh, worry about talking about it. Let's just bring it up now. All right. So here they are together. Both awesome figures. However, Yes, the Yuji Sakai is a better figure than this one. Does that mean this one's bad? No, this thing is awesome as well. It's almost the same size, has a little bit of a stylistic difference to it, and uh, just looks awesome, and actually, he doesn't need a tail stand as well. Okay, he can stand on his own, where this Godzilla, if you leave him off his tail stand, his feet are really leaning back, but, you know, that's the charm of this Godzilla, and of uh, Yuji Sakai as well. All right. Let's bring down his successor, the 2003 from Tokyo SOS. And you know what? Um, these two looks like they can actually uh, work together, and uh, it actually looks like this is a um, you know, move from uh, one year to the next one. You know, way how this one is done compared to this one, the Yuji Sakai looks like they pulled it right out of the film, where this Godzilla looks like it's a little bit more stylistic. However, it looks like it's more in line with this Godzilla as well. And you can see, this as a 25 centimeter is not that much shorter than this Godzilla, which is a 30 centimeter. Even if this one's face was actually, uh, you know, pointing forward rather than uh, leaning back in like a roaring stance, it is a little taller. However, this one is not that much shorter than it. And I think they both will look great together. In fact, look here. Yeah, see, they look great together. But what is this Godzilla? And talking about this Godzilla and that year without talking about the other part of the film, Godzilla X, Mechagodzilla. Godzilla with Kiryu, or also known as uh, Mechagodzilla, from the film Godzilla X Mechagodzilla. Awesome film, and, uh, you know, it's a great duology in the uh, Millennium series, you know, it goes from uh, X Mechagodzilla right into Tokyo SOS. This is an awesome, you know, uh, interpretation of uh, Mechagodzilla, and it goes great with this Godzilla, and they have an awesome battle sequence at the end of both films. Now, I think it's safe to say that this Mechagodzilla is a little too tall for this one. However, in certain shots, you could actually make it work together. In fact, if you have a couple of stands, if you want to put them together, you can do that scene where uh, Mechagodzilla is, you know, swinging Godzilla around over his head. But, you know, if you want to go that far with your figures, you know, that's up to you. Um, I might, you know, fool around with that and uh, show the picture off in the groups later. But um, as of right now, I think these look great together. Uh, which was a little taller, but that's why we have the other uh, Godzilla. So, let's do some final thoughts with this release. So, the X Plus Large Monster Scale Godzilla 2002 from Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla is badass. I love it. Looks great. It's going to be a great addition to that line of figures that I have from that film. You know, he's, he has a little bit of uh, his own charm to him. They made him a little different. Which I have seen some people, you know, uh, not really like that. Which is fine, you know, it's your figure, you know, you pay for it, and it's the way how you want to do it. That's perfectly fine. I like it. It's a little artistic liberty with it. And if you do not have 
the uh, Yuji Sakai uh, release that came out last year, or was it 2019? I suck with uh, years nowadays. Um, that it won figure of the year that year. Uh, if you don't have that figure, I think that thing is going for like 800 bucks now on eBay, and uh, it's a hot figure. It's an awesome figure. But if you don't have that one, and you really want a Godzilla from that film, because it's an awesome film as well, and an awesome Godzilla, I highly recommend this. It is awesome. Okay? From the paint, to the sculpt, to the stance, to just the overall figure, 10 out of 10, X+, plus, mwah, outstanding work. Well, that's the show. This is Goja to A51 saying goodnight. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um... I don't know what the next video is going to be. Uh, we shall see. Until next time, uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Share this video around. And uh, I will see you all with the next video. Y'all have a good night.